Hey folks, Brian Mendoic here. Today we're going to go over the redesigned 2021 uh, pump house with Speedway configuration. Uh, today I'm going to go over some of the features and benefits of what this configuration offers you, um, as well as uh, the maintenance features with it as well. So first thing I want to start with is uh, from a Pierce pump house or configuration standpoint, when you take a look at the overall configuration from top to bottom, it is what we would call our traditional control zone type of layout. Um, and what I would mean by that is that we would typically have up on the upper portion of the panel, we would have our gauges and indicators. We'd have our control section in the middle portion of the pump panel. We would have below that our inlets, uh, discharges, and then in the lower section of the panel, we would have like our drains, bleeders, those type of items that are used for controlling the pump and fire suppression uh, configurations or options on the truck. So one of the things that you'll notice right away um, if you're used to a Pierce pump house, um, like I said, is that nice, neat, organized layout um, as far as the vertically and horizontally. Um, everything kind of has a nice, neat, orderly fashion with it as far as where things are located. Um, one of the newest things that we did with this pump house configuration was, um, which you hear me talk quite a bit, is going to be about maintenance. Um, so the first thing I'm going to show you is going to be our upper portion um, here on, uh, on the pump panel as far as the access for maintenance items. So we, what we did for this is by a simple, as far as um, opening up the upper portion of the panel, you will have complete access, as you can see by the size of it. Um, you have plenty of height, plenty of width, um, and when you look into the pump house area, you have plenty of room to be able to get in here to electrical items, uh, the back of your linkages, very, very easily being able to get at these items. Now, one of the nice things with this gauge panel as well, uh, we can hinge it at the front or the back. It's not down here in front of your face when you're doing maintenance, so it'll actually be out of your way. Your physical pump house module in this configuration starts at 34 inches. So yes, you heard me right. That is 34 inches from here to here for the overall pump house width. So the speed lays. So let's, uh, let's talk about the speed lays here. I'm going to pull this out of the way here. So for your speed lays, one of the things that we used in our traditional puck product line, um, the latching that is very, very popular with our end users, uh, we use that for holding our trays in. So it's basically just as simple as as far as pulling the latch down and pulling the tray out. The unloaded height to the ground of this one is 43 inches to the bottom bed. It is 66 inches from the upper bed. So in a traditional cross lay type of configuration, you're talking anywhere from 75 to 80 inches off the ground. So ergonomically, this gives you a huge benefit for as far as loading, unloading, and paying that hose out for you. All right, folks, now we're on the right side of the truck or passenger side of the apparatus. And I want to go over as far as the, once again, the maintenance access um, from the pump operator or the op pump house standpoint as far as gaining access to it. It's Literally just a matter of turning your latches, taking your panel, and you're going to see me step out of the screen here. I'm going to set the panels aside, and you're going to be able to start to see portions of the pump pulse as far as how much access you're actually going to be able to have inside here. Now you get a, a very good idea here now as far as the full access into the pump area. Now one of the things that we did with the design of this product was as far as being able to allow you the end user once again when we were talking about the overall wheelbase of the truck and to be able to offer option content is you'll see in this upper area of the pump house how wide open this is. All right, so what we did now at this point is, uh, and once again, for the time's sake of the video, we raised the cab on the apparatus. So you can see the forward section, once again, of this pump house wanted to stress the whole items as far as maintenance. So what I'm gonna do, I pulled the, the netting down on both sides of this one to be able to get the trays out. I'm gonna pull the trays out myself because there is no holes in them right now, so they're pretty lightweight. Just to show you as far as how eas easily you can do this. And as 
as you can see, when I'm pulling the trays out, as far as the size of the access opening into the pump house area. So in order to get into this area up in here, what we did is we provided, uh, if you want to say a kneeling pad or a stepping pad for as far as access when you are performing maintenance on the forward section, so you don't have to straddle the drive line or as far as trying to be able to come up with some way to put something on top of the frame rails to be able to access it. Um, now the size of this opening that we're talking at the front. So once you have the trays pulled out, uh, you can see as far as the physical opening that you have to be able to get inside here. Um, you have 36 inches wide by 30 inches tall as far as a physical clear space to be able to perform maintenance. So with that being said, I just want to thank you for taking time today for watching the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your nearest Pierce dealer. We're here and willing to help, and once again, thank you very much.